Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sam and today you will learn about pyelonephritis on ultrasound. Pyelonephritis is a bacterial infection of the kidney that often originates from a lower urinary tract infection ascending into the upper urinary system. General symptoms include fever and chills, high grade fever is common followed by chills. Patients will feel tired and also will experience body aches. If there is a lower UTI present, burning or discomfort during urination may occur. Flank pain may also occur, which is usually a sharp localized pain on one or both sides of the back near the lower ribs. The costovertebral angle. We will compare the kidney appearances of a normal kidney with the appearance of pyelonephritis. In many cases of pyelonephritis, specifically acute pyelonephritis, the appearance of the kidney on ultrasound is normal. However, in severe cases, abnormal appearances are seen. This is a normal left kidney. We can see the outer cortex clearly and the inner medulla clearly as well. And the central hyperechoic structure is the renal sinus. It appears hyperechoic because of fat. And this striated structure is the psoas muscle. Up here is the spleen. This is in longitudinal view. It is the left kidney. The normal length of the kidney is between 9 and 14 centimeters. In the image on the right, we have a case of acute pyelonephritis. In this case, there is loss of corticomedullary differentiation. We cannot clearly differentiate between the outer cortex and the inner medulla. The boundary between the cortex and the medulla is blurred. So this loss of corticomedullary differentiation along with symptoms such as fever and flank pain can indicate acute pyelonephritis. In the normal image, we can clearly differentiate between the cortex and the medulla, whereas in the right image, we cannot clearly see the boundary between the cortex and medulla. This kidney is enlarged. It somewhat appears globular in shape. Instead of appearing elongated, the kidney can become enlarged in cases of acute pyelonephritis. This is another case of acute pyelonephritis. This is the right kidney. There is loss of corticomedullary differentiation. We can also see hyperechoic regions within the kidney. There is a focal hyperechoic region at the lower pole and we cannot clearly differentiate between the cortex and the medulla. This is another image showing acute pyelonephritis. There is loss of corticomedullary differentiation and we can see numerous hyperechoic regions within the kidney. These findings, if seen with high-grade fever and flank pain, do suggest pyelonephritis. In this image, we can see hyperechoic areas in the upper pole of the right kidney. This was also a case of acute pyelonephritis. There is loss of corticomedullary differentiation as well. In some cases, there may be a focal hypoechoic region, which may suggest an early abscess formation. On color Doppler, this region will not show any internal flow. No color flow signals will be seen in an abscess. These images are taken with power Doppler applied. In the normal kidney, we can see Doppler signals throughout the kidney. 
indicating that blood flow is normal and is present throughout the kidney. The image on the right is of acute pyelonephritis. The upper pole was affected. On power Doppler, no blood flow is seen in the affected area. The power Doppler signals are absent. This region was hyperechoic and had loss of corticomedullary differentiation. Blood flow was absent in this region. This is another case of acute pyelonephritis. The upper pole of the kidney was affected and you can see absence of power Doppler signals. In chronic cases of pyelonephritis, the kidney may shrink, its size may be reduced. This kidney measured 7 cm in length. Loss of Corticomedullary differentiation is noted and there are some hyperechoic regions as well. This indicates scarring. This is another case of chronic pyelonephritis. The kidney appears smaller than normal and there are many hyperechoic regions which indicate scarring. The cortex also appears to be thin. CT scan is often better in diagnosing pyelonephritis than ultrasound. Emphysematous pyelonephritis is a very serious condition. In this condition, gas forms within the kidney. On ultrasound, you may find highly echogenic foci within the kidney, followed by dirty posterior shadowing. This dirty shadowing appears gray in color instead of black. The black shadow is seen behind stones, whereas a gray colored shadow is seen behind gas. So these echogenic foci with dirty shadowing indicates the presence of gas within the kidney. The kidney also appears to be enlarged and there is poor corticomedullary differentiation. This is another case of emphysematous pyelonephritis. The gas is more prominent. There is a large collection of echogenic foci followed by a large dirty posterior shadow. The dirty shadow has a gray color. Thank you so much for watching, please subscribe and stay tuned for more imaging videos.